Well, good morning, everyone. Here we are on February 23rd, right around 7 a.m. in the morning. You can see a little light in the background. That's from the floodlight to give us a little more light so we have better video. She's kind of waking up, and I think she's about ready to take her first food break. Uh, she'll take off. Keep in mind, uh, would appreciate any comments that you may have. Please enter them in the comment field, and I'll be happy to respond. Hopefully, I'll have the answers for you. Thanks. Well, she just took off during my conversation, and she should be back uh, within a minute or so. Oh, there she is, returning back again, uh, prepping the uh, inside of the nest a little moving her feet around to position herself so she can continue that incubation. Uh, typically, the incubation for hummingbirds is anywhere from 15 to 18 days. So we should expect uh, little babies probably in another two weeks, is my guess, a week and a half to two weeks. Mama Bee should be ready for another food break. And looking around, trying to see where she wants to go before she takes that break. And there she goes. Well, this was a longer break than normal. Looks like two and a half minutes. So she must have been really hungry. The female hummingbirds tend to be larger, requiring more energy with longer beaks to allow for more effective reaching into the crevices of tall flowers for their nectar. Thus, females are better at foraging and, acquire, and acquiring flower nectar and supporting the energy demands of the larger body. The highest recorded wing beats for wild hummingbirds during hovering is 88 per second as measured for the blue-throated wood star. The number of beats per second increases above normal while hovering during the courtship displays and they have exceeded 90 strokes per second. It's now 10.30 in the morning on the 23rd and she's off for a break again. It looks like Mama Bee, when she took a break, was looking for nesting material. She has a little bit more down and she's packing that in the bottom to give better insulation to the eggs, I guess. You can see her trying to position it. Little by little, she'll get it where she wants it. A little stubborn piece. Being like, it looks like it's stuck to her beak. She can't get it off. There we go. Finally got it in. Packs it down with her feet. And she's ready to uh, now incubate again. Oops, I was wrong. She wanted another break. So she's taking off. And when she returns, she situates herself in a different orientation. So I guess uh, she's trying to distribute the heat to the two eggs from different parts of her body. And after staying in that position for a while, she decides to rotate 180 degrees to apply different parts of her body to the egg surface to give an even distribution of heat. Each 
It's late afternoon and we'll venture into early evening. Nothing spectacular happening. She's coming and going, feeding, and just getting um, ready to do more incubation. So um, that evening light sometimes upsets her and has her moving about quite a bit. So we'll end the video at this point. See you tomorrow.